Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your email autoresponder with your pop-up on your WordPress website. So in this specific example, I'm going to use an autoresponder called Active Campaign. You can use any other autoresponders, but I prefer using Active Campaign. I use it for my server and for my client. Uh, I'm also going to use Elementor. So uh, in order to do that, there are a few steps that we need to carry out. We need to um, create a list, create a form, and then integrate that form into our pop-up, right? So let's just jump on my PC right now, and then I'll walk you through all the steps. It's very simple, guys. Just follow me until the end, and you'll know how to do this. Okay, first thing first, what's, what you must do is uh, log into your um, WordPress dashboard. You must also create an active campaign account. If you don't yet have active campaign, I'm going to leave a link of active campaign in the description down below. And you also need Elementor Pro. So I'll also need a link of Elementor Pro in the description down below. By the way, I am an affiliate with Elementor and active campaign. So when you use my link, I do get a commission. Please, if you want to use my link, go ahead and use my link. I really appreciate it. So I use a different plan. I use the agency plan, the 1000, uh, the 1000 pro website that's like you know that's the one i use but you don't have to use that right if you're building like free website you can just go ahead with the 99 or if you only want it for one website you if you only want it for one website go ahead with the pro but if you if you're planning to build more website i will recommend you to go with the uh, 25 pro website right so this is this is kind of great so once you've chosen your plan let's now get back into into our active campaign account. So here we are, click here on settings. And on settings here, click on developer. And on developer, what we're interested about is the API, the API access, right? So we are interested about the URL and the, and the key. So head back into your um, WordPress dashboard, uh, click here on Elementor and then click on settings. So once you click on settings, you'll be late here. So click on integrations. And on integrations, we're going to look for active campaign. So this is active campaign. That's what we're interested about. However, if we're using other autoresponders, you, you would have just showed down and choose your own autoresponder. So come here and copy the URL and the API key and just paste it here, right? So where it says API URL, paste the API URL there and the key, you make sure you paste it there. Once you do it, just make sure you save it afterwards. So it has now been saved. And once you save it, you, we now need to um, add our pop-up. So come here on templates and click on pop-ups. And on pop-ups, I'm going to create a pop-up, right? So click here on add new pop-up. So I'll just name my pop-up pop -up page, right? And click here on create template. And this is the Elementor pop-ups library, right? So choose your own pop-up here, but in this specific example, I'm just going to choose this one. If you want to go ahead with this one, you can go. It looks beautiful, <laughs> but I'm just going to choose this one for discretion purpose. You can always choose what you want. So this is how our pop-ups look like, and I'm going to change this image by clicking on this image and then just get rid of this image. And I'm going to insert this specific image here. So, right? So this is the image I've inserted. That's how it looks. So I now need to edit the form fields, right? This area. So just click on that. Uh, where it says form form name, you can name your form, right? Put a name if you want to. But I'm going to get rid of the message because I don't need uh, the message. I need a name and email. So just click here on message is gone and click here on add item. And on item, I'm just going to um, leave it to text, right? And where it says label, I'll name that name. And placeholder, I also name that name. So I've named it name, right? I want the name first and then I want the email second. But I want this field to be required. So just click here on required. And I'm going to drag this up here, right? I want the name first and the email second. I also need to make sure that the email is required. Yes, the email is required. Very important. Now, uh, input size, I'll just say, medium if i want it to be medium I, so i can just leave it like that label really i won't really stress about that i'll just leave it the way it is button now i can customize the button here uh, i'll just want my button to be medium as well and if i want it to be centered i can have that centered like this 
and steps button next previous right uh submit then i can change the message here so download our free gift right this is my message i can you know guys play around with this i'm not going to tell you what to put there i can click on that uh, circle and then you you um you put the icon here so this is the icon i'm going to insert the icon here so um this is our icon and if you want to change the position of the arrow you can have that before and or after that's up to you but you know before we, before it makes sense right so you have it before it here so you've done that you now need to come down here to uh, action after submit so add action right so i'm going to add active campaign as an action so where it says email let me just get rid of this email. I'm going to add my own email here. I'll just copy this email. And from email, I'll just get rid of that admin and so on. And I'll paste the same email here. So from name, acquire website. Uh, yes, I'll just leave that. Where it says send as HTML, I'll just leave it, right? Um, if I want to go ahead and click a plan, I can do that. Active campaign. I I need to click on active campaign, right? So where it says API, I'll just leave it to default. Uh, list, there's a list. Yes, I can go ahead and select a list. I've created a list with the form, but I need to show you how to create a list and a form. If you already know how to create a list and a form, you might need to skip this area. But if you don't know, just follow me. I'll show you how to do that. So I'll show you how to create a list and a form. Um, step settings, I can just you know, I basically just leave this area. So guys, so now let's go into our active campaign account. So let's click here on list. We're going to create a list. And I click here on add a list and I'll add a list here. And the URL, copy my URL here and I'll paste my URL there. So that's my URL and I will say here. Okay, I'll just say you recently opted into our free download. So uh, once you do that, just click on add. So you've now added a list, right? So uh, our list is called download our free gift. And that's done. We now need to create a form. So click here on site. And on site, we need to create a form. So click here on forms. Uh, once you do that, you now need to, you know, as you can see, these are all the forms I have on my, on my active campaign right now. So I'm just going to click here on create a form. And I'll name my form. Uh, form style, however, at the moment, I'm only using the basic active campaign plan. However, if you're using other plans, you're going to have access to floating bar, floating box and model, right? Uh, that's, that's if I want to upgrade, then I'll have access to this. But at the moment, I only need the basic. So I will stick with the inline. That's what I'm going to show you. So uh, click on the inline form here and um, action, subscribe to list. I'll leave it. Options, select list. Uh, I'll select a list here. So the list is download our free guide right so that's the list and then i'll click here on create so this is our form that's how it looks subscribe for email updates right i can customize this message so i can customize this message and write what i want here uh, even here i can just you know customize this as well but make sure guys if you change any message here so make sure you do not delete the piece those piece leave those piece and just change anything in between them right so that will be fine um yeah don't mess around with those piece uh, i don't need the full name i need the first name so i'll just get rid of the full name and just click and i'll drag the first name up here and here on the submit button so now um the first name i need to make the first name required right so just click here on required and down here if I want to add any other form fields, I can go ahead and add any other form fields. I don't really need to, you know, uh, on style. Remember, guys, you don't want to add more form fields because you remember here, we've only added two form fields, right? So we've added a name and email. So make sure in this area is the same thing. So basically, you don't want to put something different here that you haven't added here. So make sure it's the same. And once you do that, now come here to style. If you want to play around with the colors, I'll skip this part. I'll now go to options. 
on options where it says on submit show thank you yes i can say thanks for signing up if i want to i can customize this message so uh i mean for now for this specific tutorial i'm just going to leave it to the basics so yeah so uh form action subscribe to list yes uh click here on option opt-in options click on that opt-in confirmation i don't need the opt-in confirmation it's like a repetition you know if a user decides to opt into my form that means they are interested about what i'm offering so i'm not going to ask them again if they want to opt in so i'm just going to uh, click tick that off and then click here on save so now that i've ticked it off and save i need to click here on integrate so there are many ways to integrate active campaign you know uh, you can go ahead and do all of this but in this tutorial we are only interested about integrating in into elementor right so click on save and exit so we've created our uh, form our form is uh, the free e-guide right so this is our form and let's now head back into our wordpress dashboard so we are back here so click here on action after so just click here on active campaign okay sorry click on active campaign so guys just double check your details again and make sure that everything is okay uh button right so another thing that i really want to show you which is very important here is um on this area add action right so if you want to redirect the person to another link or to an observe you can just click here on redirect right and if you come here to redirect now, it will ask you the link where you want to redirect the, the user. So if you want to upsell the user to something else or like to something more cool, or if you have a product, you can upsell them. But really this area is for people who want to upsell, but you know, if I don't want that, I can just get rid of redirect again. I'll just leave this too. And just click on publish. So now, condition right um where do you want to display your template so i just click i'll add a condition i want my template to be on singular right and which page do i want it to i want it to be so i want it to be on the front page right so singular i want it to be on the front page and then i click here on next when do you want your pop-up to appear you know on the page load on shows on show to element on click after inactivity on page exit intent so i'll just click here on page exit intent this is my favorite this is my favorite guide click here on next advanced rules show after x page view show after x session show after x time when arriving on specific you are uh, show when okay show after x page view right so i'll just say after this is just this is just for illustration purpose you can change it afterwards if you want that's up to you but i'm just showing you you can play around this and choose what you want and now I, so i'll now click on save and close so my my list is still not here so guys, remember we created a list earlier, right? So this is our list, download our free gift. It's not there, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to exit and come back again. And just click here on edit with Elementor. So click on form fields, action, after, so click on, click on form fields and then you go to active campaign, uh, list, so now you see our list is here. It's called download our free gift. Remember the list we created? So select that list, right? And now fields mapping. Uh, email has to be email. First name, just put it name, right? That's the name. Um, last name, really, that's not ours, right? We are only interested about two fields here. So name, that's, that's all. Okay, guys, that's all. And once you do that, just make sure you update. So guys, that was all about how to integrate Active Campaign into your pop-up. You know, it's very simple, straightforward. If you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll be more than willing to answer your questions. I'll leave all the links I've used in the description down below. So guys, make sure you use those links. Um, thank you for watching this video. 
please guys don't forget to share this content with other web design and with other business owners out there we might need it right and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and i'll see you next time take care